I went ahead and put two of them in the fridge. These come from uh, Petco. Petco has better fruit flies than PetSmart. These were like $11 each and I'm just going to put them in here for like 10 minutes. Okay, so this is Heather of Jumping Spiders USA. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash Jumping Spiders USA. Go ahead and give this video a like, share, comment, subscribe, click the little bell so you get notifications for all future content. And I'm going to quit talking so that I can attend to these um, fruit flies before they heat up too much. They've been in the fridge for about uh, 10 minutes. You can already see they are already starting to come back to life. It is so hot out here. But I also wanted to make the distinction. These are Petco flies. These are PetSmart flies for like seven and something versus 11. Huge difference. And there's usually only like five or 10 flies in these. And then you have to like wait a long time, you know, like five days or however long it takes for more flies to, you know, pupate and all that stuff. So I got this, um, condiment container at Target. I think it was like eight bucks. It's over in the kitchen section, like hanging up on the wall with all the little uh, kitchen gadgets. You can, I think, buy them at, um, at Walmart and places like that too. I'm just going to take this off here. This is a twisty twisty and then you pop that off and then that thing comes off. And there's still resin out here from when I was like making uh, resin art out here. And anytime you want to feed with flies, I used to work at a, um, in a genetics lab when I was working on my um, biology degree and we used to work with fruit flies. That was our thing. And you know, anytime you just like tap them down and I got two of these, so I'm going to have to be fast. Um, I'm going to pop the tops just a little bit so that they're like, you know, popped, but nobody can get out. So I'm going to tap them all down and I'm going to transfer one to the other. So the flies are on the other side and I'm doing this outside. Okay. Tap, 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 and keep tapping them down. All right. I'm going to take, oh, that's not going to come. Okay. And then I'm just going to transfer. all the flies from one to the other so I can uh, take out all of their stuff and transfer it over. Oh, and then put the lid on quickly. Okay, so the, the, all the flies from both containers are now in the one. Guys, I made a boo-boo. I did a dumb thing. I forgot to add ventilation to this and I sat down after I recorded and like five minutes later I was like hey this needs more air okay so I'm gonna have to do this with the spiders in here not the spiders with the fruit flies in here and this is what we're gonna need to do this you're gonna need some hot glue sticks hot glue gun soldering iron organza tool t-u-l-l-e not t-o-o-l and some scissors I cut out um, four circles of organza tool because we're going to make uh, ventilation on both sides and we're going to double them up. We're going to tap. We're going to tap them over here. And then we're going to start melting. And hope they just go away. Oh good, they're staying away. Yeah, I want you, not that I want to be seen as a person who, you know, is dumb and makes mistakes, but at the same time, I don't want anyone to think that I know everything and I never do dumb things. So let that be a lesson to us 
And then we're gonna put hot glue all around that. They're mostly staying away from this hole and I'm just gonna kind of keep tapping to make sure they do. And we're gonna press that organza tool, the T-U-L-L-E. That is what that looks like. And then I am gonna trim around those edges and then just repeat on the other side. There sh yeah, we got them. There should not be no more um, flies in there. So now I'm going to take this stuff and I'm going to put it on there. You'll, um, you'll very likely see maggots in here. This is not for the, for the weak stomached. And then um, I'm just going to start scooping this in here and you'll have to take like little um little scoopfuls okay i got an extra okay got an extra spoon and a knife just in case so then you're just gonna start scooping that down in there And I'm doing this outside, you know, I've got a little stray fly there and, um, but I've only seen like two or three little strays from, uh, from the, from the transfer that we did, which is pretty good. So this answers the question, how do you feed with fruit flies? without them getting all over the place. You don't have to do this, and this is not my idea. I absolutely cannot take credit for this. Whoever thought of this was um, an absolute genius. This is a super, super great idea. Um, but even if you don't do this, you know, you're just gonna like, like always just keep tapping them down is what you're gonna have to do. Like, you know, um, cool them down in the fridge for 10 or 20 minutes and then just keep tapping them down just keep tapping them down and um and that's how you can minimize any escapes but this is uh really really pretty escape proof and ingenious really like whoever thought of this good job okay so that is just about all of that and then you can um save this container and um in another video probably maybe not the next one but soon i will make a video on um how to colonize your own um fruit flies you know how to rear and raise your own fruit flies so that you don't have to keep um buying them so you'll definitely want to keep this container and then what you'll do is you'll just tap all of this down so that it's, you know, all down in the bottom. And you can start taking this stuff. Yeah. You can wear gloves. And just like pushing it, um, pushing it down in there. I'm going to use the butter knife. This one doesn't appear to be too maggoty yet. <laughs> so that's good. It's so weird. Like, you know, I would much rather, uh, much, much rather touch the flies than like, you know, maggots. And in the spider world, it's kind of funny, like when I was brand new to spiders, um, I was like, what are people talking about spikes? Like what the heck are spikes? And it took me a while to realize 
that when they talk about uh, spikes, you know, either fruit fly spikes or house fly spikes or blue bottle spikes or black soldier fly spikes or whatever kind of spikes, uh, that's a friendly term for maggots. They're talking about maggots because just even saying the word maggot is disgusting. <laughs> uh, and that's probably enough for that. I probably won't put all of that down in there. I'll just save the rest of it for, um, you know, this container here. And we're gonna save that container. And we can colonize more flies later with this one. So then, okay, this is gonna be the fun part. So then you're just gonna like keep tapping them. Keep tapping them and then do the bowl like this. Like this and start pouring some out. And then tap, and then tap, and then pour some out, and then tap. And then tap. And some are gonna escape. I've had, I don't know, like maybe eight or 10 come out so far. This is why I'm doing this outside because it's really hard to like not have them. Um... All right, and so we're gonna put the lid back on this one and more fruit flies are gonna grow out of this one. And then we are gonna put the top back on this. And so then you will see we got a bunch of fly guys in there and they're gonna like you know keep making little babies for us and then you can like put the top off and uh squirt some down in your fly into your um spider and so that is how you do it um much easier and then you know aside, aside from the first part see i've got like like 10 flies right all on the edge of here but for the most part, we didn't lose that many flies. And we've still got some, we've still got a fair amount in here and they're gonna make more babies. And then we've got some in here. And then you've got another container and we can start another colony. And that can, that will probably be like um, next video or next couple videos. So you guys, guys can, um, Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Jumping Spiders USA. And I hope that was helpful and we'll see you there.